so right now we're going to Jersey Freeze. We just found out today that they have vegan ice cream. <laughs> I'm so excited. So the ice cream is made with coconut milk and it's in Jersey Freeze. Like what? And one of my clients um, who happens to be vegan also, which is awesome. I was like, we found each other. Yeah, so she told me that they had vegan ice cream. So, so we're going. We're going, yay. Yeah, so anyway, basically today when I was working, I had a client come in and she has like a little, I guess, maybe six year old or something. And um, she was saying like, oh, we'll get vegan ice cream at Jersey Freeze after. And I was like, vegan? There's ice cream at Jersey Freeze for vegans. It's coconut milk ice cream. I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> what time is it? It's time to fat up. <laughs> <laughs> That's we, bad. First. First you got a carb up, and then you got a fat up. Not always. But we're carb we're fatting up with good fats. Yeah, not this always. Is coconut but based it's fat. vegan. No animals were harmed in the making of vegan coconut milk ice cream. What are you doing over there? Fixing the Jeep? Yeah. <laughs> the dials get stuck, so he bangs on it. But yay for vegan ice cream! Coconut milk, vegan ice cream. I don't know brand it is though. I don't know if they make it themselves or sure if they have like their own house. brand. You think it's made in house? Yeah, yeah I, looked, Jersey I looked on the website and they said yeah. coconut based uh, ice cream that was non-dairy obviously and then it looked like it was coming out of like a soft serve so. Jersey Freeze for me has so many memories me attached too. to it. Me yeah. too. I always went, there. I can I can remember going there with like my parents and my grandmother. And yeah, I went there with my dad my and uncle. my sister. Yeah. It really shows that, you know, like, um, even, like, they're not a big business. This isn't a corporate location. This is like a small, like, more yeah. like mom and pop type ice cream place. It's mm -hmm. it's near the Friel Raceway Mall. Yeah. And, and you um, go right here, right? It goes to show that, you know, like, small businesses are catching on and saying, wow, you yes. know, we have to keep up with the times. And yes. if we don't, Love it. other people are going to do. That's true. And they're, they're going to take, you know, they're just going to capitalize while everybody else is, you That's know, true. losing out. Because they're noticing they probably had a decline in revenue and in service. And with this, probably, they're going to start to have an increase because they're going to really start true. to draw new customers you know a lot of young people are going vegan and yes. stuff and, and they don't they want to go out for ice cream but there's nowhere to go yes so. and jersey freeze yeah. is gonna be our place i love it i'm so excited Ho hopefully maybe one day their whole you know the whole yeah, ice cream one day, yeah, the whole will go transition. totally vegan yeah hopefully i'm crossing my fingers but yeah jersey freeze has always been huge like for when my family when we would all go to bike night and freehold we would go to jersey freeze after and i'm just i love it i'm excited so many memories and here it is yay jersey freeze jersey freeze Woo! Woo! Okay, so I'm here at Jersey Freeze. I got the non-dairy soft serve ice cream. It's a coconut ice cream base. It's vanilla. And vanilla, I got it with rainbow sprinkles. And I'm about to try it. The first time trying it live and let's, direct. Hold on, let's take a really good... Look at the good... height on this. Okay, gonna try. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Look how steep that thing is. It's so tall. That's like perfect. A lot of sprinkles, but it's really good. So I got vanilla in a medium cup with chocolate sprinkles, and it looks so good. They only have vanilla. I would have gotten chocolate because I love chocolate, but they only have the vanilla, non-dairy, and it's low-fat. Okay. Okay, yay. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Really good. Mm. It's so good. Yay. So we're going to enjoy this now. It's so good. It's so good. It's low fat too. It like doesn't even make me feel like I'm doing anything bad. <laughs> and it's if Jersey Freeze, if you're watching this, I think this is a great product. It's really good. Yeah. You should also do a banana and ice cream. <laughs> that would be good, right? Yeah. 
I like, I think you should come out with this because this is amazing. Yeah, this is really good chocolate. But come out with the chocolate version because chocolate's amazing. Oh, I love chocolate. Go full vegan. <laughs> All right. I hope. Not for a little while, probably that won't happen. If they went full vegan, this would be a fucking a vegan mecca. Yeah. Vegans from all over all the over. nation would come here and fucking converge yeah. for vegan ice cream. Yeah. If it was full vegan. And I think people would actually, if they, ha if, I don't know, if a mainstream place went vegan, I feel like maybe some people would be more open-minded to it. Mm -hmm. One of the women that I work with today, I was telling them about Jersey Freeze has vegan ice cream because I just found that out. So I was really excited. I went to the back room. And I was saying, oh yeah, I'm so happy I met this lady or whatever, you know. And um, I was also saying how Ben and Jerry's just came out with a vegan line. And she was like, oh really? Wow, that's, you know, if you, see, I probably wouldn't try it just because I know it's vegan. And I was like, really? She was like, she was like, yeah, just, she's like, because I know that, I probably wouldn't try it. But if you didn't tell me, I'd probably like it. Like, if you didn't tell me, I'd probably like it. But it's like, why? Wouldn't you want to be open-minded? I was always open-minded, always. And I always like didn't want to miss out on anything that was possible in the world. And it's possible, amazing coconut ice cream. Why wouldn't anybody want to try that? <laughs> I'm gonna eat it and it's falling on me. <laughs> anyway. Who got and you guys took a step in the right direction. Yeah. I would love to see it. It seems like there's a restaurant connected, the great American food thing connected to Jersey Freeze. Mm -hmm. Start making some veggie burgers, have yeah. some vegan options, and we'll be coming in to try that. And we'll make a video about that. That's, that's free advertising for you guys. Yeah, you dropped. Turn the light because you dropped ice cream and sprinkles. I want to clean it. There you go. No, I didn't. You did. When you attacked me with the ice cream. Oh, I couldn't find it. Whatevs. But yeah, this is really, really good. It's like snowy white too. It's really good. And it doesn't like taste severely like coconut. It just tastes like a very, it's like a, a sweet ice cream treat. It's really good. What? Mm. And the sprinkles, oh my god, are amazing. It's very wintry and white. And it's like snowy almost. So like I can just imagine in the summertime when it's so hot out and we were at the beach all day long or it's just like a really hot summer night, how amazing this would be. It's like so refreshing and cooling. I took a picture on my phone of me having this cone. And I think I want to like send a, a group text to my family and write like breaking vegan and say like I got high <laughs> and I went here and I got an ice cream cone <laughs> and see what everybody says. Breaking vegan? <laughs> no, they're all going to freak out. They're going to be like, I fucking knew it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, see what everybody says. Oh no. Yeah, I told you, dropping ice cream everywhere. See? You did, you dropped, dropped, you dropped ice cream somewhere. This is good. This by far, I would say it's way better than the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy. I think it's so much better because it's soft serve. See, I love Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I loved it too, but I'm just saying, I, I prefer this. This is a lot lighter. When I have the Ben, lighter. when I had the Ben and Jerry's, it's like you feel like you're in like this fat coma after. But you can't say bad things about Ben and Jerry's because that's fucking awesome. No, I mean, even though Ben and Jerry's puts you in a fat coma, if you were having the dairy shit, you'd be fucking ten times worse because that shit's like fucking pure fat. But I love Ben and Jerry's. I think their ice cream is so good. But yeah, it's very high fat. But who cares? Like, it's a good fucking vegan treat. But um, this is very refreshing and light. I love that. I love that this is light. Like, I don't feel like I am fatting up right now. I don't feel like fatty right now. And it said it was low fat. But I love this because it's a good experience. Like, we came and we got ice cream together. He's eating from a cone right now. Soft serve. Vegan. That's what I love. I love the experience. 
I yeah. love the ice cream. It's amazing, but I love being able to get this experience again because like I said, growing up, we'd be down the street at Freehold Bike Night with my dad and my sister. We'll come to Jersey Freeze after. I think you're talking just, about cruise night. Oh, cruise night, I yeah. used to go to cruise right, night too when I was just, a kid with yeah. my family and we would come here. But yeah, I'm, I'm saying like I loved and cherished that, that experience being with my family. Like that's memories of coming to Jersey Freeze and getting ice cream. So it's so fun that I can come to Jersey Freeze and have ice cream. That's another thing. I love it. Freehold Burrow. Why don't you bring back the cruise night? Yeah. Man, that was loved. I loved that. that I loved fun. doing that. That was like a memory. They stopped then all it. of a sudden they just stopped it. It's because of town. People in the town, I think, complained about it. I think people noise. in the town and, yeah, but I, know. I know that shit was good for business because all them restaurants and everybody up and down will be busy because there was thousands yeah. of people. On normal nights, too, we would come to Jersey Freeze, but cruise night would always come after. But. Yeah, I mean, this ice cream is amazing. Ben and Jerry is amazing. All the ice creams are amazing. But this is really cool that we can come and enjoy the experience of like going out and having a night out for ice cream. I said that I prefer this over Ben and Jerry's non-dairy. Which one do you like better, this or Ben and Jerry's non-dairy? I like Ben and Jerry's. But better? I Yes, you're, I love you're the You're answering ice cream. it indirect. Which one do you like better, this or Ben and Jerry's? Ice cream wise, like the taste of ice cream? I Just think, which one do you like better? That's that's all I was asking. I don't know how to how to answer that question because I love Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's really good. It's the ice cream taste itself is better than this, but the experience of going out for ice cream for a night out for ice cream for like a date night or just out for ice cream the experience itself so is taste better. wise taste wise i like ben and jerry's oh better. true i like this better this is way cleaner but i do tasting. feel cleaner eating this so i kind of do like this better in a way because i at least feel better and cleaner and lighter but i love ben and jerry's like the taste wise like it tastes tastes like cookies and peanut butter and chocolate and really rich and chocolatey like i love ben and jerry's but I love this because I can go and have a night out for ice cream as a vegan. That doesn't happen like anymore, you know? So I, I love this experience. I'm finally getting to the good part. I had to eat a tall ass mountain. <laughs> a fucking big ass mountain of fucking soft serve like that. It was fucking like that. Bigger it was than my really tall. bigger than my fucking head. It was really tall. It was bigger than your head? I think so. Taller from my chin to my I fucking like, apex. I was like having trouble balancing it. I felt like it was wobbly because it was so sweet. Well, what's this cunt doing? Cunt! You fucking obese fucking cunt! Shut up. You should scare them. Go vegan, you fuck! I'm <laughs> just kidding. Remember when Durian Rider was trolling around his town and he was passing by McDonald's and he was like, Maccas makes you fat! <laughs> and that was like one of the first times I ever showed you Durian Rider and you started laughing at that. Because he was he yelled at people. He was like, Maccas makes you fat! And you like liked that he was trolling, thought it was funny. And you have a mouth closed. Close your mouth. And she pr she put a lot of sprinkles at the bottom of mine, so I'm just enjoying lots of sprinkles right now. Mm, it's so good. All done. Yay! Yum. Yum for Jersey Freeze. Definitely recommend you guys going here if you're vegan. I hope you are. Please come here to Jersey Freeze and enjoy amazing if you're experience. In, if you're in the tri-state area or yeah. or even nationwide or support worldwide, them, support them. fly into Jersey <laughs> and head to Jersey Freeze oh in Freehold, New Jersey. Check anyway, them out. Because anyway. of the vegan, go yeah. for the non-dairy. Yeah. And let them know you're vegan. Tell them you want more options. Support the non-dairy option here or anywhere you can find it because the more people who support it and buy it the company will notice and they'll they'll supply more of it or who knows but if you're in the area definitely check out jersey freeze 
or even if you're just looking for non-dairy ice cream or anything, come to Jersey Breeze. If you made it to the end, just like I'm at the end of this cone, <laughs> give this video a thumbs, a thumbs up. up. Also, subscribe to this channel for more videos to come That's in right. the weeks and the months ahead. And remember to align yourself with a vegan lifestyle and start to change lives because yes. all lives matter. All lives matter. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.